Gordon from CheapRecipes.info and today we're going to make um, fish and chips a good old English favourite but unfortunately it's getting very expensive especially if you've got a family you're looking at 20-25 pounds now for everybody to eat fish and chips so what I've got here on the left I've got some um, basset fillet which I bought frozen and I'm, quite frankly I'm buying four fillets decent sized fillets skinned and boned trimmed for two pounds so I've let those thaw out I've poured off the water for to go with it I'm going to use oven chips and once we cook those we're going to just drizzle some olive oil on them sprinkle them with a little bit of the table salt and some paprika I've got my plain flour about 250 grams there to make the batter and for the batter we'll need some beer if you don't want to put beer in yours you can use fizzy water um, fizzy mineral water I've got some dried parsley and some paprika and I've got a glass of water which after I've mixed the flour with the beer I'll let it down a little bit with water okay now for the batter take your flour make a hole in the middle like you're making cement sprinkle of salt around it all take your beer and pour in about ooh, what third of a glass of beer give that a mix together and it will go into like a very thick paste I'll just change my whisk this one seems to work better so you can see our batter there keep giving that a mix, it doesn't matter if it's got a few lumps won't be a problem that's a nice thick batter if you think, think it's a bit too thick just let it down again with a drop of water ok now we've got our batter nicely mixed and you can get an idea of the consistency of it not too thick not too thin what we need to do now this is optional of course but I'm going to throw in some parsley a bit of dried parsley and a little bit of paprika for colour it'll give it flavour as well and then just give that a stir in well here's our frozen chips which I've transferred into a um, Pyrex dish and I'm just going to drizzle some olive oil over the chips just a little bit like so and then just take a little bit of table salt give them a sprinkling and then I want to put some paprika over it will just give these chips a little bit more flavour I'm not going to put a lot just a sprinkle just to give them a bit of colour and a bit of taste there we go that's that they're ready for the oven ok the next stage we need to dust our fish fillet with a bit of flour like so just dredge them otherwise they won't take the batter so that's fine and then get the next one do the same so I'm just going to coat my fish all around in the lovely batter like so make sure it's all nicely coated and then we're going to drop it in the oil away from us so we don't splash ourselves that's that one now over here when we go in the fish and chip shop we often ask for scraps and the scraps are those little bits that are floating little bits of batter that float around in the oil now if you want if you want some scraps quite easy to do just take your batter dip your whisk in and just literally flick it around like so and you'll see it will make nice scraps 
Now I'll just get another plate ready with some kitchen roll so we can drain it. Fish is cooking away nicely. Uh, I've just taken my bread out of the oven and it's sitting there cooling down. So I'm looking forward to having some of that. It's still sizzling away. We're getting quieter. I would say the oil's at about 180, 190. So it won't take too long to cook. Cover these scraps. I can remember when I was in America, every Friday, we used to go to the catfish, we used to bring back a big box of catfish. Fried catfish. And there you have it folks, English fish and chips with, you guessed, scraps, beautiful. That leaked very well, you can put a squeeze of lemon on it, some mayonnaise for your chips, a bit of vinegar on your fish, some pickles, you know that's what, 50 pence fish fillet, a few pence for the peas, a few pence again for the potatoes. So. You know, fish and chips doesn't have to be mega expensive. You can afford it, but do it yourself. It's not difficult. It's not rocket science. Okay, well, I'm going to enjoy that for my tea. So, um, here's Gordon from CheapRecipes.info signing off. Wishing you all well. See you again next time. Bye-bye.